Well, hello everyone, and welcome to your Pisces New Moon Manifest and Blessings Astrology Energy Report and Guided Meditation for February 19th of 2023. I am Susan Saucier, your Spiritual Intuitive Coach, and happy birthday to all the Pisces out there. Please note that this report is for everyone. If you know your birth chart, you can look to see where Pisces is, and it will help you know what area of your life you may be working on. If Pisces is your sun, moon, or rising sign, you will more than likely feel this a bit more deeply. Now, if you're interested in going directly to the guided meditation portion, I have placed a timestamp in the notes below. If you're interested in what you may experience in your world over the next few weeks, well, then let's talk about that right now. Let's start by talking about this Pisces new moon and begin by reviewing some of the positive and negative aspects of the sign. The reason we do this is because Pisces is, well, every astrology sign, you're going to find that they carry certain aspects. Some are positive, some are negative. It doesn't mean that every Pisces is going to have all of these positive and negative aspects because there are many different things in their chart that relate to this. But the reason I bring them up is because you might notice it more over the next few weeks around this new moon before, during, and after until the next new moon even, you might notice different kinds of emotions and characteristics that people are acting or even within yourself. So let's review those now. Some positive aspects that you may encounter with the Pisces new moon are feeling really creative. They're super, super creative. Um, empathy. They're very empathic. So you might notice you're taking on other people's energy more. So it's going to be important that you understand what emotions belong to you and what you're feeling from others. Because even though you may already be an empathic person, having this new moon in Pisces is going to stir that energy up even higher. So you become even more empathic. So you might feel even more of the emotions from others around you. So it's going to be important for you to differentiate between the two and understand what belongs to you and what doesn't so that you can let it go. Uh, Pisces are very generous. They always want to help, and which is wonderful. They're very intuitive. So again, you might notice that your intuition is really spiked and you're understanding different things you didn't know before or you're thinking of things and then they're happening, many things like that. So just, just let it happen and embrace how wonderful your intuition really is. We all have it and this will just help you even make it deeper than it already is. Pisces are very sensitive, they're devoted, they're compassionate, inspirational, they forgive easy, they're natural healers, and they have a great strength. They can withstand many difficulties and continue to still help others without feeling this resentment or anger. I mean, I'm sure they have some, but they have a great strength in order to help them still continue to feel good and want to be compassionate and help others with everything they go through. They are the last sign of the zodiac, so they carry lots of wisdom and knowledge and old soul energy. Now, some of the negative aspects for Pisces that may show up are feeling like too many emotions. Again, that's that empath thing too, but also they're a water sign, so you're going to feel things a bit more intensely. Um, they also have an ease of being taken for granted because they sometimes trust others without any suspicion. So be careful with that. They can close off, sometimes just shut down when it gets too much. They can be moody and they can be looked at as lazy, but they just sometimes want to go off into their fantasy land. Um, and they also are known for escapism where, you know, again, almost like shutting down, there's a couple of aspects to this where they can be dreamers and really lose focus because you're talking to them one minute and you can see that they all of a sudden are somewhere else in their mind because uh, they're big dreamers. But they can also be escape where they can go down a road of, you know, maybe binge eating or even drinking or something over shopping, whatever it may be, to avoid what they don't want to deal with. So you want to pay attention to all of those as well. Now let's talk about the Pisces new moon and the energy that will be around you during this time frame. You may notice at the onset of this new moon, you know, maybe last week during the time right now and even the week after, people and situations are coming up to the surface once again for you to take action, for you to either hold on to or surrender. 
you may find that you feel like you're being pulled in many different directions. Since we're in Pisces energy, it's often suggested that you just go with it and let it take you where it needs to instead of trying to force an outcome. As I mentioned, Pisces is a water sign, so it's going to be a time to really tap into those emotions. Go into your heart, not in your head, where you can easily be misguided by past habitual patterns that are triggering you to react and respond as you have before. This is a time for shifting with ease and flow instead of struggling with familiar chaos. This can be stepping out of your comfort zone since it's not familiar. However, it can also bring about the changes that you've been desiring. So I know that many of us deal with all kinds of drama, chaos in our lives, and it's familiar. So it becomes something that's habitual and we're used to the same kind of outcomes. This is a time when you're being pushed to shift that outcome. So standing up for yourself or you know, setting that boundary and honoring it and honoring what you need and what you feel inside, don't ignore it. It's going to be very important that you honor what you're feeling in your heart and what your intuition is guiding you for. Because Pisces is very intuitive and an old soul, as I mentioned. So you want to take advantage of all this really high vibrational energy that's around you right now. It's guiding you on your spiritual path. When you surrender instead of force, it can feel uncomfortable because the mind always wants to find a solution. So it's hard to just say, okay, I know I've been pushing. I've been really wanting, I just want this to be over with. I want it to be done with. I want everything to be fixed. And you keep going and pushing and forcing and you're getting nowhere except exhausted. But the heart knows better than the mind. So even though the mind wants to find a solution, Your heart knows where to take you. So much is gained by the act of surrendering and knowing when it's time to do so. And if you're feeling like you're really forcing and pushing and getting nowhere, then it is time to do so. It's time to surrender and say, you know, I've done all that I can. And it's time for me to let the universe, God, source, your creator, take the lead. Let it happen and just step back. Now, if you're feeling really stuck and confused, it can be very beneficial to put aside some quiet time to really go within. Just quiet your mind the best way you can. If you have to listen to music or a guided meditation, whatever you need to do, uh, sometimes it helps to listen to the sound of a fan or something that keeps your mind back to letting go of the thoughts that can overpower you. And sometimes it helps to put a notepad nearby so you can write those thoughts down so you remember to get groceries or whatever it is that's trying to take your mind and occupy it. And just focus on your breathing. Quieting your mind, even for just a few moments, a few minutes each time, is going to help leave space for your spirit team to get in and really assist you. And that's what they're trying to do. So again, if you're feeling that you're really confused and stuck, um, do that quiet time. Just make it important because you're taking care of you to reflect and go look over all the changes you've been through over the past few years and how these changes have given you strength and patience that you probably didn't even know that you had. It's important now to stay grounded and use your intuition and take inspired action if you feel it as long as you're not forcing it and attempting to change something that you know in your heart is not in alignment. Always remember there is no pass or fail. There is no right or wrong according to the higher dimensions. There is only you on your life's journey, traveling down many different paths. It all comes down to how you're responding and how you're reacting along the way. Use what you have learned the knowledge and wisdom you've gained over the years. And notice when you're repeating the same old negative patterns and reactions over and over again. And don't beat yourself up. Instead, just acknowledge it. Make a mental note to react differently or respond differently next time. Let it go. Don't sit there and keep repeating, why did I do that? I I should have done it differently, this and that, because you know what? Then 
You are occupying a space in your mind that's taking up so much energy and it's going to keep bringing about the same thing over and over again. Now, Pisces will be showing you many different paths that you can take during this time. And all of them will lead you where you need to go and where you're meant to be. However, some paths may have less resistance than others. If you're willing to accept what you cannot change and to change what you can. Now, as you know, life isn't all joy and happiness. It comes with many ups and downs to help you learn and grow and evolve as well as to enjoy the power of the light and joy when you are in it. If you didn't know the darkness, you wouldn't understand how wonderful the light is. If you didn't know sadness, you wouldn't understand how great joy is. This Pisces new moon's helping you understand the importance of finding the balance between the two, between the light and the dark, between what you need to let go of and what you need to hold on to. Again, you hold the power, even if you feel like you may be stuck. You hold the power. It's just about letting go of any fear or doubt or anxiety because that's all that is, is it's holding you back from stepping out of your comfort zone and honoring you and your needs. This is a new moon, which means it's a great time for new beginnings. And it's also a Pisces new moon. So it's giving it an extra boost to new beginnings. Since Pisces is the last sign of the Zodiac, it carries deep spiritual wisdom and knowledge as well as a kaleidoscope of just beautiful things that hold powerful value to you as a soul and allows you to begin a new chapter in your life, allows you to reflect on the past 12 months and the paths that you have overcome and endured and look at what you've accomplished, not what you haven't. Even if it's tiny, it's still worth acknowledging. Now, during this new moon and every new moon, it's important you set your intentions. Don't just write them down or speak them out loud. Make sure you're really feeling them. Visualize them. Let yourself truly feel how you would feel if your intentions were happening right now. That is key. And repeat. Repetition is also key. The more you do this, the more your subconscious mind absorbs it and believes it and creates it. Now, I will say that Saturn will be moving into Pisces over the next few weeks, and it can have a powerful impact with this new moon. Saturn is all about restrictions and challenges, life lessons, so it can bring up issues, things, people, or situations that have been holding you back. Whatever comes up might be a clue as to what you may experience this year that you might be working on. And it doesn't mean that the whole year is going to be difficult if some difficult situation comes up. It just means it's like preparation. You're getting um, some insight on what you'll be working on so that it's like you're almost getting answers to the exam you're going to be taking this year and just remembering how to apply them. So what are you willing to tolerate? What are you willing to ignore? And where do you need to set boundaries so that you can have peace in your life? joy, love, happiness. Sure, things will happen. But if you have set boundaries and you honor them, you're going to find that you have more joy and more peace in your life. Saturn doesn't play around and it will clearly show you where you need to take ownership of your life in the outcomes that are unfolding. You hold the power within you always. It's not easy to say no. I get it. It's not easy to turn the people in your life away when you know they're toxic and you know that they're just not helping you in any way, shape, or form. It's not easy to change. It's not easy to step out of your comfort zone to claim you are taking care of you and not feel guilty for doing so. Whatever the case may be, Saturn is pushing you to put down the foundation you want so it doesn't all come tumbling down in the future. So in closing, this Pisces new moon is offering you many wonderful outcomes as long as you're taking advantage of the high spiritual energy. Notice what and who is triggering you. Notice where you need to surrender, where you need to step up and into your power, where you need to take charge, and where you can create balance instead of 
too much giving and no receiving or vice versa. Make sure during this time you stay grounded. Pisces can be a dreamer and want to escape into a fantasy land that feels much better than perhaps your physical experience at the moment. It's okay to dream and imagine the life you desire. In fact, it's encouraged. However, don't escape to avoid what needs your attention because it will keep coming around again and again until you step into your true power and do what needs to be done in what you came here to do. Pisces can lose itself in emotional and magical bliss, so make sure you are grounding frequently, as I mentioned. Make an intention that you're grounding. Walk in nature if possible. Connect with Mother Earth. Visualize it in your mind that your feet are going deep into the soil. It's going to be important that you stay grounded because Pisces is way, way up there, so you might even feel yourself lightheaded at times. Remember that you create your reality daily with the power of your thoughts, your beliefs, and your emotions. Pisces is spectacular for helping you create right now. So before Saturn comes around and attempts to bring about rules and regulations, this is the perfect time to create, to visualize, and manifest the world, your world, your life, and everything around you as you wish to see it and experience it. Each and every one of you play an intricate role in creating together as one. So focus on what makes you happy. Fill your heart with love and send that vibration out to others and watch it bring wonderful outcomes back into yours. This new moon is all about making your dreams really become your true reality. So as always, your angels, guides, and spirit team They're right by your side, supporting you every step of the way. Even when you feel alone, you are truly never alone. For within you is just an abundance of magical, beautiful, wonderful, loving energy flowing through all of you. Understand that you are more than your pain. You're more than your scars and more than your fear. Why? Well, because each and every one of you are truly amazing. If you're new to this channel, thank you so much for listening and hanging around. I hope you will join me every few weeks by hitting the subscribe button, notification bell, introduce yourself in the comments section. I love to hear from all of you. If you found this helpful, please remember to share. And to my current subscribers, as always, I have lots of love and gratitude to each and every one of you. Thank you so much for being so consistent and listening and checking on me if I missed new moon or full moon. I really truly feel blessed by all of you. And I look forward to reading your comments and I hope that you enjoy this as well. We ask to be embraced in the highest vibration of pure divine love and pure healing white light surrounding us with peace and safety and protection always. Now as you begin to relax, allow any thoughts that come into your mind to simply drift up and away from you, clearing away any clutter that may be clouding your mind knowing that you can tend to these thoughts later. Right now, it is time to allow your body and your mind to relax and let go. This is your time and your space where you are granting your body your mind and spirit the opportunity to manifest your heart's desires liberating your most authentic self setting boundaries where needed declaring intentions and claiming your freedom for the month ahead Allow this beautiful frequency of high vibrational love and light to empower you. Now place your hands gently on your heart. 
take a deep breath in through your nose and slowly release through your mouth. When you are inhaling, you are inhaling new life, new beginnings. And when you exhale, you are releasing the old, letting go of what no longer is needed in your life. Now breathe in new life and fill your lungs deeply. Breathe in this pure, vibrant energy and exhale, releasing the old, releasing, letting go, letting go of the old. Allow your body to relax even deeper. giving yourself permission to surrender to the wonderful feeling of peace. Feeling a gentle warmth spread through your entire body. Begin to notice how your body is responding. Your breathing is now slowing down and you can feel yourself going even deeper as you enter into this process of planting seeds and creating your new world. At this time, we ask the angels, guides, and your spirit team to join us. And we ask Archangel Michael from the south to join us on this journey as well, surrounding us with safety and protection and filling us with wonderful determination. We ask Archangel Raphael from the East to bring us healing as we reclaim our power and release what no longer serves us. And we call upon Archangel Uriel from the North asking for stability, harmony and balance in our lives. And we ask Archangel Gabriel from the West to shower us with pure, cleansing, white, healing light and love and peace as we heal old wounds and release limiting beliefs. At this time, Set your intention and create a space for yourself and your mind and your body to manifest your heart's desire, to expand your awareness beyond the physical world and into the higher dimensions where you can access your power, all your wishes and connect with the energy of the new moon. Begin planting those seeds, watching them grow, nurturing them in the soil, seeing them begin to sprout and form into your reality. always for your highest good and the highest good of all. Embrace these new beginnings for they are yours.
as you bask in the energy of this new moon breathe life into your creative gifts breathe life into your visions and breathe life into your ideas allow yourself to bring the darkest part of you forward your shadow self and shine your personal light upon your shadow self illuminating what you need to release what you need to let go of so that you can make room for your new beginnings and for what you truly desire deep in your heart now allow the invitation from this new moon to start fresh and recalibrate your energy as it upgrades your level of consciousness to the dreams you long to make into your reality repeat these words in your mind dear universe I am here to connect with spirit I am here to connect with truth I am here to connect with love please make me a channel of your divine wisdom help me see clearly in all aspects and help me tune into the greatest good in my heart these wishes I present to you now manifest for the highest good of all concerned thank you Thank you now dig deep into your heart and listen and feel what it is telling you is this what you truly want the desires that you have planted take a moment to connect with your heart and if these feel true to your heart then set your intention that you are now ready to receive the blessings of the new moon begin seeing the words on your list form in your mind's eye allow images to form in your mind as you can easily see these wishes unfolding right before you like you're watching a movie unfolding right before your eyes and it's all of the things you have placed on your list begin to notice how you feel as you watch the movie unfold before you look around and see your surroundings feel what you feel in the moment living in your dreams living in your desires how does it feel as they come into your reality take in all the wonderful feelings of having received what you have asked for feel as if you 
already have it right now. Feel it with your entire body. Notice what sounds you hear, what voices, what things do you see? What words are you speaking? What location are you in? Take it all in. Now turn up the dial by making the scene before you even more colorful, even more vibrant, more real. Hearing and seeing and feeling everything even more intensely. As if you are actually living in that reality right now now. Notice the bright colors of everything in this image before you. Everything you hear, everything you're feeling. And it's coming closer and closer to you, louder and louder, brighter and brighter. And you can feel the excitement and joy flowing within you. You can feel the intense love and gratitude you feel for these blessings. And you hear yourself saying these words. I am so grateful for this prosperity and abundance in my life. I am so grateful that my wishes are happening in my life right now. And they are for my highest good and the highest good of all. Feel the feeling of your wishes fulfilled. So grateful. So happy. Thank you. Thank you. Bask in this moment, allowing it to form allowing it to create a vibration that flows out into the universe, finding a match of what you desire and bringing it back to you, knowing that you are planting the seeds and over the next days, weeks and months, nurturing and loving these plants that you are filling with your dreams and wishes become bigger and stronger bringing them into existence in your life Now repeat these words after me. Dear universe, I hand over my wishes to you, for I know they are forming and manifesting into my reality. I am freeing myself from clinging to my wishes. For I know whatever is for my highest good is being created right now. I 
I am excited for what is to come. I am excited for what is in front of me right now. And I am excited for these new beginnings and blessings. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Know at this time that your intentions have created this vibration. And right at this moment, this vibration is out seeking a match in the universe, creating this energy to form and bringing it into your reality. Your intentions have been set and your only duty for the rest of the month is to read your list out loud every day and know in your heart that this is happening and it is your reality. Right now, ask yourself, how will I feel when these wishes are here in my life? How will I feel? If you are receiving everything on your list right now, feel the happiness, the joy, the excitement that everything on your list has arrived and is here for you to experience in your life right now. Let these emotions form and fill all of your energy field, creating belief, unwavering faith, summoning to the universe to respond. Act as if it is already yours. Act as if it is already yours. And it is so. Now taking in a nice deep breath in through your nose of new beginnings and releasing all the energy that no longer serves you. Slowly allow yourself to come back to the present moment, knowing that you have created you have manifested, you have planted the seeds for your deepest heart's desires that are for your highest good. It is time to open your eyes, come back to the present moment, knowing that you have created your wishes fulfilled with this new moon blessing meditation. Thank you for joining me and please let me know if you enjoyed this new moon blessing meditation by giving it a thumbs up or leaving a comment below. If you found this helpful, please share it with others. Remember to hold on to your list and refer to it each and every month. Notice what you've manifested, notice what's still in the process, and notice what you no longer desire. I'll see you on the next new moon. Namaste.